Wednesday morning, July 10th, 20. 24, my, I, the, I wrote a book, Lou Gehrig, Baseball's Comprehensive Look at His Stats and Box Scores from 1923 to 1939, 17 year career. This video, 1925. The last two videos, 1923 and 24, the years. I played a total of 23 games in two years. I don't understand that. They brought him up. And he plays 23 games in two years. Why? I guess the lineup of the New York Yankees was pretty loaded. Didn't have room for Lou. What a mistake. Just think, in those two years... If he had had like 50 to 100 more games in a two-year period. Do you know that his career stats, he ended up with 493 homers and 1,995 RBIs. If those first two years he has 50 more games, he would have had over 500 homers and over 2,000 RBIs. And possibly over 2,000 runs scored. Ended up with 1,888. Man, the stats that Lou Gehrig could have had. And also, you know, in 1939, he only played eight games. If he plays that full season, he ended up with 2,700 hits. He would have had, I think, if Lou Gehrig had played just a little bit more, like a 20-year career, he had 17-year career. But the first two years, 23 games. Those you, Let's say 1923 and 1924, he has over 100 games. And then 1939, he only played eight. Let's say he has 100 games there. His stats would have been much better. I think he would have had 2,000 RB, two runs scored. 2,000 runs scored. Over 3,000 hits. Probably over 600 homers. And probably close to 2,500 RBIs. Wow. Anyway, 1925. Let's look at his year. Guess what? He played 126 games. I love it. I like it. You give that guy, Lou Gehrig, almost a full season, 126 games out of 154. He puts up the numbers. What did he do? Batted 295, 73 runs scored, 68 RBIs, 20 homers. See, he can hit homers. 10 triples, 23 doubles. 76 singles, slugging 531, on, on base 365, base on balls 46, total bases 232, and stole six bases. During the 1925 season, Lou Gehrig had an 11-game hitting streak, 37 multi-hit games, 26 two-hit games, 7 three-hit games, 1 four-hit game, 13 two-run scored games, Two three run scored games, nine two RBI games, three three RBI games, one four RBI game. Listen to this. He had one seven RBI game, 1925 season. Seven RBIs. When did he do that? Let's see. Let's look up the box score. Here it is. July 23rd, 1925. He hits two homers. He has four at-bats, two runs scored, three hits, and seven RBIs. How about that? And he had the one two-homer game. So 1925, a good success. Not moderate, but good. 126 games, 20 homers, 68 RBI. You know, it's the last time he will go under 100 RBIs for the next 14 seasons. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, 13 in a row. He will go the next 13 in a row seasons with 100 or more RBIs after this. I'm going to point out his accomplishments. You will be amazed at Lou Gehrig. He's number three on my list, greatest of all time. 1925, a good year. And guess what happens in 1926? Stay tuned for that video. I'm out.